dear students welcome back in the previous session we have uh, discussed about the testis and also the epididymis now in this session we are going to discuss about the applied anatomy of the scrotum as well as um, this testis okay so in this the first one is the hydrocel so hydrocel is a condition in which fluid accumulates in the process vaginalis of peritoneum so this is called as um, a process vaginalis here so and this one is the tunica vaginalis this is the covering of um, the testis around the testis we have discussed um, previously and what happens in this is here the fluid accumulates in the processus vaginalis actually this process vaginalis is um, closed here after birth isn't it so there may be some opening is there then uh, which causes some accumulation of fluid in this thing so which causes the condition called hydrocel so there are different types of hydrocel one is um, vaginal hydrocel this is uh, a this one is the vaginal hydrocel and the this one is infantile and c is the congenital both b and c almost have the similar features so we can consider both of them as congenital and the last one is the encysted um, type of hydrocel so what happens in the vaginal hydrocel so this is the most common type of primary hydrocel this one is usually appears in middle aged and uh, elderly men here the fluid in the tunica vaginalis so this one is tunica vaginalis surrounds the testis but not extend into the cord so this one the fluid will not extend into the cord and this is also not communicate with the peritoneal cavity and this is a non communicating type of hydrocele the vaginal hydrocele next one is the congenital as well as the infantile um, uh, hydrocele in this this is also a primary hydrocele which communicates with the peritoneal cavity through a narrow orifice in the process vaginalis if you can observe here it is having an opening here and also here you can see the opening here so due to this opening so the fluid will communicate with the peritoneal cavity okay and the next one is the encysted um, hydrocel this is a non communicating type of um, hydrocel here the fluid is collected along the spermatic cord separated from and located above the testicle as well as the epididymis okay so this one is the encysted type of hydrocel okay so normally a small uh, procedure has been done to remove this uh, fluid that is called tapping of hydrocel it is a temporary treatment to relieve the symptoms so they use uh, syringe and needle so it is a procedure for removing the excess fluid from the tunica vaginalis so this one is the tunica vaginalis which is surrounding the testicles here so the layers penetrated by the instrument or the first one is the skin next dorsal muscle and membranous layer of superficial fascia and external spermatic fascia cremasteric muscle and fascia internal spermatic fascia and also the parietal layer of um, tunica vaginalis so and then they will uh, drain or drag the fluid from this tunica vaginalis and the symptoms are uh, relieved temporarily so again there may be chances of refilling of this fluid okay so this is about the hydrocele okay and um, 
this one we can studied under uh, scrotum because tunica vaginalis is also present in the scrotum itself so we have already studied uh, in the scrotum that is the sebaceous is on the scrotum okay now there are some other um, clinical anatomy related to testis that is uh, unilateral absence of testis is called as monarchism okay as we know that uh, a pair of testis is present right side and left side uh, maybe uh, one testis is present then it is called as monarchism or sometimes bilateral absence of testis is present that is called anarchism that uh, is um, one type of um, a genetic disease okay and next um, condition is the epididymis okay didymitis epididymitis so we can see this epididymitis here okay as we know that this epididymis is an organ which is made up of highly coiled tube this acts as a reservoir of spermatozoa so it is having head body and tail in the head the sperms are stored until up to maturation once it is ready to mature then it enters into the body so in the body of the epididymis the maturation takes place after that um, that matured sperm enter through the tail and to the vas deferens which finally opens into the ejaculatory duct uh, and uh, this epididymis is also supplied by the testicular artery and this venous and lymphatic drainage of this epididymis is uh, same as that of the testis and the nerve supply is um, supplied by the sympathetic nerves through the testicular flexus normally the fibers are derived from the segments t11 to l1 of the spinal cord okay so what happens in this uh, epididymis so inflammation to the epididymis which is normally caused by a bacteria normally it is caused due to a sexual contact okay here you can see this epididymis so the person feels um, pain and um, swollen testis is also seen in the case of epididymis okay and we can see another condition so that is um, undescended uh, testis so or this kind of condition is also called as uh, cryptorchidism okay here if you can see this normally testis has to descend into the scrotum isn't it but the testis is remained in some other parts of the body during um, descending so such kind of condition is called as undescended testis or cryptorchidism okay the organ may lie in the lumbar okay lumbar region itself and next one is um, uh, inguinal so here you can see this inguinal and then high scrotal region so it enters into the scrotum but it is not up to the mark it is not descended here and it is uh, present at higher position okay so what are the important features uh, seen uh, in such kind of condition is the testis may complete um its descent after birth may be complete but it will not descend properly and um, spermatogenesis may fail to occur normally spermatogenesis uh, requires lower temperature but it is not possible in those positions a malignant tumor is more prone to develop in this thing and this condition can be surgically corrected okay and next other condition is the ectopic testis so here you can see this one is the ectopic testis 
so the testis may occupy an abnormal position due to deviation from the normal route of descent so here you can see so here there is a normal descent but here it is not descending normally it is uh, descending abnormally so the testis may occupy an abnormal position due to deviation from the normal route it may be um, occupied under the skin of the lower part of the abdomen so here this one the first one is the under the skin of the abdomen and um, next one is the under the skin of the front of the thigh so here under the skin of the front of the thigh and um, next one is in the femoral canal and below the skin of the penis so here you can see the skin of the penis and it may be present be behind the scrotum okay so what are the important features of this ectopic uh, testis means here also the testis is usually fully developed and uh, it is uh, usually accompanied by such kind of uh, ectopic testis usually accompanied by indirect inguinal hernias and um, it may be uh, di uh, deviated or uh, diverged from the epididymis which may lie in the scrotum okay this is about the uh, ectopic testis and another condition that is called um, hermaphroditism or intersex which is a condition in which an individual shows some features of a male and some of female okay in true hermaphroditism both testis and ovaries are present both the testis and ovaries are present okay in uh, pseudo hermaphroditism so the gonad is of one sex that means if it is a male gonad okay so the external appearance is like male but the secretions of that gonad is opposite that means uh, female hormones are produced so though the person appears as male but uh, that person behaves as a female okay and um, and this the gonad is of one sex while the external or internal genitalia are of the opposite sex okay so and then so the testis and epididymis may be the site of various infections and of um, tumors okay and the testis may be palpated to check any nodules or any irregularity or size or consistency so the testis can be palpated for to check any nodules any nodules are present or any irregularity okay or size or consistency and next other condition is the varicocele so varicocele is produced by the dilatation of the pampiniform flexus on veins okay it is usually left sided possibly because the left testicular vein is longer than the right which enters the left renal vein at a right angles and is crossed by the colon which may compress it when loaded and also due to hernia also such kind of varicocele or seen okay so this is all about the applied anatomy of um, testis as well as the scrotum thank you